Dr. Ingemar Johansson is an academic orthopedic surgeon specializing in hip replacement surgery. He has been in the U.S. for the past six months visiting a highly reputable academic hospital in Florida. During his absence, a young colleague, Dr. Alex Fix, promised to take over the role as the investigator for a multinational investigator-initiated hip replacement clinical trial. Dr. Johansson has now returned to work and discovered some problems with the ongoing hip replacement trial. Dr. Fix has not only violated the trial protocol, he has also involved participants that should not be included in the trial. Two trial participants that Dr. Fix has included and operated on were too high risk for the trial. One had asthma, the other leukemia. The two patients have not experienced any serious adverse events. However, Dr. Johansson must report the discovery to the International Trial Steering Committee since it is a requirement addressed in the trial agreement. Furthermore, Dr. Johansson has to include the two protocol violations in the upcoming continuing progress report to the local EC as required by his hospital, and he submits the report. Dr. Johansson is not happy after discovering that Dr. Fix has made a mess of one of his trials when he was on sabbatical leave. Dr. Fix has included and operated on two ineligible patients. Dr. Johansson wrote about the two protocol violations in the continuing progress report to the local EC. The university recently established a disciplinary board for research fraud and misconduct and the EC chair has decided to hand over the annual progress report to this board. The two patients in question are well and have not experienced any trial-related adverse events. The EC chair decides to bring up the case at the upcoming EC meeting so that he can suggest allowing Dr. Johansson to continue with the trial. The EC chair will also bring up the two protocol violations caused by Dr. Fix as they represent non-compliance, and the EC must take action. Note, continued EC review of human research projects is important since some studies may face problems that are otherwise not identified. In turn, the risk-benefit balance can be affected.